This is the last bartender. I'm gonna be making an old fashioned cocktail today. Uh, old fashioned got its name because it's basically the first cocktail. The only difference between um, a cocktail and what was considered a punch before was the addition of medicinal bitters. Uh, we have the Angostura bitters that we use in the old fashioned. Um, the old fashioned is pretty much just sugar, spirit, and bitters. And that's it. The addition later was of an orange slice and a maraschino cherry. Now, in the 1960s and 70s, a lot of people were asking, actually 50s, 60s, 70s, people were asking for old fashions with the garbage out. What that means is they did not want the chunks of fruit floating around in the drink, so that would mean you'd have to build it in a glass, and then you'd have to strain it over ice. I have a little cheat that actually I think works better than if you were to do all of that anyway. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. I take my peeler, I get my peel, and instead of doing a twist and squeezing it, I use the opposite side. It smells more like the inside of the fruit and it has the same effect. So I'm not rubbing my fingers on the inside of the glass here. I'm actually rubbing the white part of the fruit, which is something that you don't usually use, all over the inside of the glass. All right? And I mean, it really makes a difference. You can smell it. Well, you can't, but I can. Uh, add a piece of sugar. Here's, here's the other thing I do. I do. I got one sugar cube. These are kind of small sugar cubes. To get the right amount of sweetness and to give it a little something different, I muddle the cherry straight into the drink. So then we give it our bitters. Small splash of soda water. Give it a muddle to get the cherry and everything and all of this into a nice paste. Give it a twist. And then a little bit of soda water makes all the difference in the world in getting that into something that's gonna get easily diluted. You still wanna scratch the bottom when you're shake, when you're uh, stirring this bad boy, but that solution is what we're looking for. All right, then we've got our, ooh, sorry, counting there. Got our bourbon, bourbon in an old fashioned. And then we add our ice. And this is the important part because there's nothing worse than getting down to the end of an old fashioned and getting a mouthful of granulated sugar or, you know, it's, it's just, it's not it's sloppy. So you give it a little stir down there at the bottom. That's why a lot of people use simple syrup. I just don't like using simple syrup unless I have to, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's just me. And then as you're giving it the stirs, it should not bring the garnish up, uh, the, the orange peel right up the side of the glass so you don't really have to do anything else with it. And that is how you make an old fashioned. Gotta give it a taste. Oh, it's so cool because the maraschino cherry muddled in with it gives it a little bit of a different sweetness to it, but it's almost hard to tell. And the orange just takes care of itself when you wrap that thing all the way around the, the, the bottom of the glass with that flesh side uh, down. It, it takes care of all that, and you have no pulpy chunks in it. It's a nice, clean, old-fashioned. This is the last bartender.